Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. Today's video is going to be a fun one because I get to talk to you about all of my blush favorites, specifically my favorites for spring and summer. I am so excited. You know I love a good blush moment, and I also love Colin from Queer Bones, and I'm excited to be collaborating with them today. So we are gonna be bringing you our favorites for these hot, hot seasons. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly, and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist, and here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future Future videos and like I said I will be doing this with Colin today so I will make sure to have their channel linked down below with this blush video I think this is gonna be a good one to collab on because Colin has I would say a medium olive skin tone I mean let me tell you like their skin in the summertime their skin their skin in the wintertime is like my best summer day so if you have a bit deeper skin than me definitely make sure you check out their channel they have about normal skin and I know that we both love a good blush moment we have definitely oohed and odd at <laughs> At all the makeup together we're constantly sending each other like pictures of tangerine orangey corally blushes so Colin if you don't have a few corals a few oranges in your collection today I'm gonna be slightly disappointed but I have a feeling you will I will be very curious to see if we have some similar picks but I really tried to reach in and not only pick out some of the ones that I know and love but some of the ones that are maybe newer to my collection maybe I got them in the winter time when my skin just wasn't quite the right color and this is also gonna be an inspiration to me to use these more this season because I know I'm gonna get a bit darker whether it's from getting to do fun things or just things like yard work I'm, I'm having a feeling that I will get a little bit more sun exposure I don't know about you but I am ready I am ready to get out into the sun if you didn't know I do live in Wisconsin and it has been a long winter and a very disappointing spring <laughs> so far we're just now tipping into some good weather with some sunshine so I am here for it but I'm also way more pale than I usually am at this point in the year so this means that I get to start pulling out all the colors that I enjoy using when my skin starts to get a little bit deeper. So we are gonna dive into that. I have 10 picks for you. Now, if you do know me, you won't be surprised that a good half or more of these picks are cream slash liquids because you know that is where my heart lies is within those juicy cheeks. But I do also have a couple great powder blushes that I'm gonna share with you, so stay tuned. So without further ado, let's dive into these juicy blushes. If you are a blush fan as well, make sure you give this video a like. I am going to be doing arm swatches of all these shades for you, but I do have one on my face that we will be talking about as well. Let's go ahead and get into this. All right, let's go ahead and start off with our powders. Now, this is one that I truly fell in love with right away when I purchased this. Uh, I will say I think it's like a multi-seasonal option, but I'm ready to use it when my skin is like nice and tan. So this is the Alva Flower Blusher from Odin's Eye in the shade Little Jasmine. So this is just like a, it's like a little bit burnt, but it, I don't know, there is something about the shade. It's, it's a nude, but it's like a nudie mauve with a sl slightly warm, I don't know, can mauves be warm? <laughs> It's a it's a slightly warm mauve. Let's see here. I'm gonna get a nice fat little swatch here. Hold on. Okay, so here is a better swatch of that little jasmine blush. Uh, I turned the lights down just a smidge and I will be giving you an up close look at all of these arm swatches, but this shade I truly love. I also have um, the little jasmine lip cream. I'm also wearing one of their other lip creams right now. Let me tell you, these blushes and lip creams totally blew me out of the water when I did my Black Friday order, along with the eyeshadow palettes. Everything, everything from Odin's Eye, I'm blown away by, basically. Uh, I did have one little dud, but we won't talk about that today. Uh, if you're curious, I will link the video where I went through my whole haul, but this I just truly love. Now, these flower blushers do have some very fine shimmer to them, but it's not glittery at all. I really like it on my cheeks. There are two other shades, and if they are still available, when I have an opportunity to dip into an Odin's Eye sale, I would probably pick them up. I really love this formula. It's very finely milled. It feels really nice and silky. And this is just one I think has just enough that it can go with like any makeup look that you're wearing. It's kind of, 
I don't know, it's just an all around great blush. I think it would look good on basically any skin tone, like whether you are warm, cool, this one has you covered. So that one I knew right away I was going to grab it. Now here is one, uh, this is from Kiko Milano. This is from the Wonder Woman collection. You can't get this one anymore, but truly it is one that I absolutely love and it is what I'm wearing today. Uh, if you can find it somehow, like I recommend picking it up. So this beautiful shade, it's a bit more rosy than the uh, Little Jasmine and it is also a bit more sheeny. I would say, but not sparkly. If you don't know, I don't, I don't love glitter all over my cheeks. So yeah, that's just not something that I really enjoy. So I do like a good sheen, but I don't want glitter. So this one has more sheen to it. So I don't have any highlighter on. So if I like tip here for you, I also didn't put on any setting spray or anything like that, that gives you more of that like wet look. So this is just all the sheen of the blush. If you can see here, it does have a bit more of like a pinky copper tone to it. So this is another one that I just really love. Like, ugh. I mean, you can see in that pan, it's just like gorgeous color. It makes me think of like hot summer nights, like just enough of a flush, but not too bright. I don't know. I love this one as well. So I'm very excited to be sharing that one with you. I... I have not tried many Kiko Milano products, but all the ones that I tried, I think I got a few things from the Wonder Woman collection and I really liked it. Like the Lip Stilo, which I'm not sure where that is. I have to find that. I have to pull that out because it would go really well with today's look. I mean, I love what I ended up throwing on, but by the way, uh, this eye look is coming in a video probably later this week, but very soon. So if you're curious about the eye look, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. But uh, I definitely wanted to showcase this one today because I love it. I mean, just look. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, <laughs> one more powder blush. Uh, this one is into the brighter side of life. This is the Moira Cosmetics Signature Ombre Blusher in Orange Blossom. So if you have not seen these ombre blushes, um, you probably aren't on Instagram <laughs> because when they first came out, they were like all over the place. So these have that really beautiful embossing. And yes, you do have the opportunity to, you know, stick more on this side or the darker side, or you could swirl. That's what I'm gonna do today for you. Um, I wore this a couple times last summer. Ooh, the only thing when you swirl like that, especially with the finger, is you start messing with the like ombre print. But even here on my hand, you can almost see like the multicoloredness. Doubt that's proper English, but we're just gonna roll with it. Uh, so, you know, if you use a brush, obviously you're gonna get a little bit more of a smooth, like evened out application. I will say that if you have one of these, it will last you forever and ever because they are very, very highly pigmented. Ooh, look at that. That is like super yummy, juicy, mm, 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 so good. But anyway, I would recommend using a fluffier brush. Like I really like to use, let me grab it here. It's kind of dirty, don't judge me. This is the Wayne Goss 14 brush. Something that has a little bit looser bristle, a little bit less bristle, um, like a duo fiber brush is great because these are very, very pigmented. And since they are matte, I feel like most matte blushes go on the skin with a little bit more intensity. And these are not um, a hard packed blush. Like I think that again, sometimes some matte blushes, if they're packed really hard, you do have to dig in a little bit more. These are pretty soft. I mean, like, whoa, just right there you can see. So this one is great. I do have the other two, actually maybe there were three other shades, but I have two other shades from these ombre blushes. There's one that would also be beautiful. That's like a sort of like yellowy orange into pink situation that is beautiful as well. But I could only do 10 here. I, I'm trying not to cheat, even though actually I am sort of going to cheat. I'm going to have like 10 in an honorable mention, sort of, just because I really couldn't decide from one formula which shade I wanted to use. Anyway, so I was trying not to cheat. I was trying not to cheat, and so this is the one that I decided to show you today. <laughs> okay, so three powders. That is what we have today. I think it's a good little variety. Um, I mean, I definitely love a good warm blush moment. If I'm doing something more cool toned, it tends to be in the winter time when I want that like in from the cold, like flushed, you know, like that like pop of color on the cheek, just that like, ooh, shivery kind of moment. So I think most of these are warm toned, just a little sidebar here. So now this is technically a powder, I would say, but it really tips into a like cream to powder for me. This is the MAC Glow Play Blush. I've talked about this formula. In fact, I did a favorite fall and winter blushes this last season. Um, if you're curious or you prefer more like fall and winter blush tones, uh, I will have that video linked down below. But I did talk about another shade of this because I love this product. It just, 
If you would love to try a cream blush, but you're a little bit worried, this is a great place to start because it feels creamy, but dries down to more of that powder feel, but it has like almost like a satiny finish on the cheek. These don't have any shimmer to them, at least mine doesn't. Um, I would say that, yeah, this definitely has more of like a satin finish. So these are lovely. This is, did I say this is heat index? I think I did. Um, oh, it just feels so good. So this is the shade right there. This is just, it's a little bit more pinky. Hopefully you can see that again. I'll be showing you swatches at the end, but it's a little bit more pink, but still like a very hot color. Like, oh, look at this. Look at this in the pan. She's pretty. She's so pretty. Like, a little bit of pop of that, maybe a little bronzer, a little like black flicked little liquid liner. Mm, I'd love that look in the summertime. So this one I'm excited to get out. All right, now let's get into some creamy creams. So let's go ahead and pull out this one from Salt New York. Like I mentioned, um, I have an affinity for orange slash coral blushes. This is the most orange, true orange blush in my collection. This is Tangerine from Salt New York and I, Boy, I think that Colin might have this one. I am, I know we've talked a lot about Salt New York together. Uh, this is definitely, let me just get a really nice wide swatch here. So if you can see here, this is definitely like orange without a splash of pink. There is no pink in this whatsoever. It is totally orange all the way. Uh, and I really love this. Like, mm, again, I think in the summer, <laughs> Like the epitome for me is like a good bright cheek with a little bit of bronzer. I think that this would look so, so good. Uh, this one you can also use on your lips if you like that little bit of like an orangey, like I just ate an orange popsicle moment. Mm-hmm, so good. So this one I love. Uh, these these I need to start pulling out more. They don't, they don't seem like they're going bad, but I'm worried about them like drying out over time. So I definitely want to dip more into my Salt New York this summer, especially because these are like a little bit more sheer. So I feel like if you like a good lighter makeup feel in the summer, these are a great way to go. They just like melt into your cheeks. I will say that the longevity on these is a little bit shorter. Like you're gonna get maybe four to six hours. It's not like a stay all day type product. So for me, it would just be like, I just need to look cute for a little bit and have like super yummy looking, not textured skin. These just really blend into the skin. If you are worried about texture from powder products, Salt New York Lip and Cheek colors are beautiful. I mean, all the products I really enjoy, but mm, tangerine, so yummy. All right, now we're gonna move into where my like mention and a half comes in. So in a haul video this spring, I had purchased these NYX Bear With Me uh, jelly cheek colors and I got two shades and I really wanted to put both of them in this video. I'm not going to, I'm going to show both of them to you, but I'm not, I'm technically not putting both of these in. So here we have the shade sizzling sun. This is definitely more of like a burnt orange terracotta -y moment. And then here we have orange zest, which is so funny because this is like, again, it's more of like a coral moment, like a, mm -hmm, like a, pinky orange. And since I have some of those already, I decided to not include this one, but it is very pretty. I don't know if, I know that I've found this product available, but I don't know if these shades are all available anymore. But this, uh, the Sizzling Sun shade, I think is just, it was unique enough to bring in. So let me just get a little bit of this built up because of this jelly consistency. The other one is really, really quite pigmented, but this one, I feel like you can build up a little bit. So depending on if you want a more sheer or a more like built up color tone, ooh, hopefully you can see the difference between those two shades, but if not, you should be able to when we zoom in. They are similar, but definitely the Sizzling Sun shade has a bit of that like rosy brown to it. Whereas Tangerine just has that like juicy translucent orange. This shade just has a little bit more of like rosy brown to it. So love that one. These are so nice. Again, this consistency is super nice. It is again, like just that kind of like jelly, but it's not so jelly that it's like gonna like drip out. I think that these were slightly more liquidy when I first got them. So again, I need to start using these up before they dry out, but they're beautiful products. I have not dipped into the drugstore world much in this last year, but the few things that I've tried, uh, most of them have been gems. I really think that drugstore makeup has sort of like been trying to like up their game and NYX definitely has a few great products and this is one of them. So this is a product that I think I've only worn one other time, and that's because I got it 
this winter. I got it this like last winter. I'm pretty sure it was. And I was like, oh, this is great, but it's so, so saturated. So I'm just going to give you guys a little peek here. This is the Sugar Ball Cushion Cheek Color. And this is the shade number two. I mean, look at that. But ooh, ooh, ooh. But I, I definitely need a bit more color to my skin to be able to pull this one off. All right, I'm going to try to like get, oh yeah. I mean, this is like, now granted, you can shear this out, my goodness. You don't have to wear this like quite as vibrant as it is right here, but this is just a beautiful, like summery, ready pink shade. I think that this is so gorgeous and it has a satiny, balmy texture. This stains really fast though. I did go through and I was swatching this one when I was picking out the colors and I immediately tried to get it off my finger and it, it stained. So that also to me means that it's probably gonna be a fairly long lasting color. So that is great. So if you're someone where you find that like cheek color doesn't stay on you forever. I think that this would be a really nice one. And because it is a very thin texture, it just has like a very sheer balmy texture to it, but not overly emollient. I think that this would really work well on more like normal to oily skin as well. By the way, I am more like normal to dry. So especially dry in the winter time, but once summer gets here, I do tend to definitely like live in that normal world. So I get a few months of glowy, dreamy skin. Um, and then like that last month or two is like, just like overly sweaty skin, <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, going into summer in the beginning, I'm always like, yes, I'm not so dry. So I'm definitely going to enjoy that glowy cheek moment. But uh, if you are an oily beauty lover, I think that this would actually be a cream product that you could enjoy. Now, this is maybe like thinking out of the box a little bit, but I would like to talk about the Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand. This is the medium shade. And for me, this is definitely more of a like glowy blush moment. So I'm gonna swatch this baby here. And if you like a good rose goldy, coppery cheek, oh, I just kind of like put it over the top of that other one. But <laughs> this I got, um, before I got the regular Pillow Talk shade. And it is definitely for me and my skin tone more of a glowy blush than a highlighter. I think on someone like Colin, they could totally pull it off as a beautiful like highlight shade. But if you are fair to light medium, uh, I think that this is definitely more of like a blush, but it just has this beautiful like coppery tone. It's right here. So it's almost like bronzed summer skin. Mm -hmm, with like a little bit of rosiness to it. I really like it. Uh, when I wear this, it's a one and done sort of like blush and highlight. I might put a little bit of a cream bronzer underneath and then just like blend this in all over the cheek. It's super, super beautiful. Maybe in the depth of summer, I could wear this as just a highlight, but it, it just has so much depth to it. And I know I've talked about this on my channel before, but if you're wearing something that's a bit more metallic, you can see here when it's not hitting the light, it does have more depth to it and then it looks a little bit deeper. So um, granted, I probably would not wear this as thick as I've just swatched it on my arm, but uh, be aware that, you know, if you if you really load that on, it's actually gonna make your cheek right here look a little bit darker. So again, not a highlight for me. So then we have two more products. So we're gonna go in with one that has been around for quite a while. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. Uh, why can't I remember what these are called? but it's the liquidy blush in the shade Joy. So again, this is not a new product by any means, not that many of these are. This is just a go-to easy shade for me. Um, <laughs> again, I think at this point we all know that these are a little goes a long way type product. And this shade is, you know, it's kind of in the lines of a couple of these up here. It has that like slightly orangey, corally feel to it, but I just love this. I love this on the cheeks. I think it's one, if you love a good, like very flushed cheek, this is really beautiful. It has a, a bit of orange, a bit of peach, but enough, I don't know, enough of like a neutrality there that it's not like overly orange and it blends out so beautifully. It's just summer in a bottle for me and I love it. Okay, moving into our last product, and this one is a little bit out of the box, but I've actually worn it as a blush before, and it's gorgeous. This is the shade Phoenix from Danessa Myrick's Color Fix line. So this is, I'm not going to say it's a neon shade, but it is quite bright. So here is, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to swatch this on its own, 
And then I'm gonna swatch it mixing a little bit in with my uh, tinted moisturizer because for me, that is how I like to wear this. So, I mean, I wish I had showed you. I should have showed you how how little of this product I use. You can see here that while I can like start to blend this out, it is very, very bright. It is probably the most saturated of all of these. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at that saturation right there. Like, whoa. So the thing that I like to do to A, make this a little less intense, but also, give it a bit of a more natural finish. This is very, very matte, which is great. If you love a good matte blush, stick with it as is. You gotta work with it pretty fast because it'll dry. So what I like to do is mix it in with a little bit of tinted moisturizer. So I'm gonna take my Complexion Rescue from um, Bare Minerals. Oh, I'm gonna have to put this on this hand here. Wow, getting all these swatches off is probably, <laughs> is probably going to be a challenge. So I'm gonna put that with a tiny little dot of the Phoenix shade and I will show you here. Okay, so hopefully you can see that tiny, tiny amount of both <laughs> tinted moisturizer and color fix. I would say it's like two parts tinted moisturizer to one part color fix. And then you can see how I like mix that together. I'm gonna pop that and swatch it. Ooh, we're running out of room. Whew. <laughs> so I'm just popping that like right underneath that like non-diluted shade. So you can see how that shears it out a little bit. I feel like I should have been doing it this way this whole time, dang it. So you can see just how much that like shears it out and it makes it a little more user-friendly. Now I need to very quickly wipe off this color fix before it stains my hands forever and ever. <laughs> Hold on just a second. <laughs> Okay, I just I just needed to do that. I kept all the swatches, but I needed to get it off my finger and my hand because I'm gonna I'm gonna look a little crazy in a little bit. So the thing about the color fix is if you are someone where you feel like your face eats blush, <laughs> if you are someone who has a really oily type skin or you get very sweaty, this is something that I would really recommend to you. And you don't have to just use the Phoenix shade. You can go in and find any of the matte shades. I would recommend using a matte one for this. Uh, the creams and the foils all have some shades in them but if you take a matte and you mix it in with your foundation with the tinted moisturizer even with a with a moisturizer like just with a lotion that will help shear it out and you can work it into the skin but since the color fix are waterproof they last on the skin for a very 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 long time. Uh, if you want to see what these look like on the skin, when I did my Danessa Myrick's uh, Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder, Blurring Powder Balm, whichever way it goes, when I did that review, you don't get to see me apply it on camera, but you can kind of like scrub through and see my cheeks all done with uh, a color fix shade. I can't remember which one I used, but I did use it in the video. Oh, I think I used the shade Latte, so you can see that. So. These I love, I love mixing and matching and you can use them on the eyes. It's not a secret that I'm obsessed with color fix, but I do think that not enough people wear them on their face in this region. So those are all my favorites. Let's go ahead and zoom in and I will give you a recap one more time and the close-ups of these beautiful blushes. All right, so here we have the Elva Little Jasmine from Odin's Eye. We have the Kiko Milano uh, from the Wonder Woman collection. This is the shade Athena Strategy. Sorry, I just had to check that. <laughs> so then we have the Moira Cosmetics Ombre Blusher in Orange Blossom. Then we have the MAC Glow Play in Heat Index. By the way, I did want to say at the time that I'm filming this, it's both out of stock on the MAC website and on Ulta, but on MAC it says it's coming back, so I'm going to link it anyway. And then here we have the Salt New York Lip and Cheek Tint in Tangerine. This one might also be gone now, but this is the NYX Bear With Me in Sizzling Sun. We have this gorgeous bright, bright pink from Sugar Ball. That is number two, Pink So Much. And then we have the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in Pillow Talk Medium. I don't even think I said that it was Charlotte Tilbury. That's funny. Everybody probably knows. It's Pillow Talk for God's sakes. So then here we have the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. Uh, is it called Soft Pinched? I think that might be what it is. But this is the shade Joy. Then we have the Color Fix in Phoenix. Uh, this is Full Concentration. And then here we have the Color Fix uh, Two Parts tinted moisturizer, and that's the shade that I wore today. It's just my Bare Minerals tinted moisturizer, and it's two parts tinted moisturizer and one part of Phoenix. So these are all the ones that I will be wearing all summer long. All right, 
I hope that those zoomed in swatches helped you out. I also realized that the audio on that might be a little weird. I am not used to having a mic boom. I used to have my mic on my camera, which is obviously right there. And so I'm not used to that. I should have moved my mic. So I apologize for that. Hopefully you can hear it. Uh, I will make sure to have everything linked down below in the order that I featured it. And if I can find links to them, I will. Um, if any of them are out of stock or no longer available, I'm sorry. I really try. You know, there's this like thing as a content creator, should you only talk about blushes that are available? I don't necessarily believe in that or products, obviously, like when I'm doing videos, any type of product, I don't necessarily think so. Because if you have something in your collection that has been around for a while, maybe you want the inspiration to pull it out and use it. And I don't think that it's just about all of the new new and all of the things that are available. So I hope you don't mind me showing a few things that I love in my collection that maybe you can't get anymore. Not that I'm not that I'm trying to be a brat and tease you all, but oh, look at this. This makes me so happy. I almost want to leave this on like all day, but I don't think that all of these are transfer proof. The only ones that I would like wear as transfer proof is the Phoenix Color Fix on its own. The rest of them, that's questionable. So I'm going to have to take this off, but that makes me sad. Uh, it would also make me sad if you don't check out Colin's video. They are such a great person. I really love getting to watch their videos because they're so honest. I love that as a content viewer. I like it when someone is not afraid to say that they don't think that something is worth the price, that they don't really enjoy something. Uh, Colin has a lot of great content, so make sure that you check them out. Their favorite blush video will be linked down below. So if you are new to my channel, I hope you did enjoy this content and you consider subscribing here. Thank you to everyone who took the time to watch this video. If you have a favorite blush for spring and summer that you think I should check out, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I love having discussions with all of you. That is gonna be it for today, lovelies. I will see you really soon. Why do I look like I've got a huge vein in my forehead?